Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I'm Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. Hey, we are going to go back out to the state of Illinois. Why? Because there is never a dull moment when you live in a state that absolutely hates every single one of its lawful and responsible gun owning residents. We're going to go back again and talk about the Protect Illinois Community Act, or which was one of the most unconstitutional pieces of legislation passed in the last 12 months. It banned both assault weapons as well as standard capacity magazines in the state of Illinois. But worse than that, also requires those who were fortunate enough to have them grandfathered to do a registration. Well, that registration window is open and we're beginning to see the level of compliance or lack thereof that may be happening in Illinois. So today, let's go through the numbers. Let's talk about the state that won't comply. Okay, back we go out to the state of Illinois again. We are talking about the Protect Illinois Community Act, which was essentially a ban on 171 different types of semi-automatic rifles, as well as many other firearms. And, and I should point out, any magazine which held more than 10 rounds. Now, for those of you who lawfully purchase such items, as you know, in the state of Illinois, you can keep those so long as you register them with your state government. That's right. In order to keep your lawfully owned property, you must now register your firearms with your state in violation of federal law, which is the Firearm Owner Protection Act of 1986. We've already done videos on that. Now, as we know, registration began October 1st. So here we are more than 10 days into the month of October. How is the state of Illinois doing? Well, Normally, when I do a video, I'm just complaining about how rotten and evil Illinois state government is. In fact, that has literally been the theme of every single video I've ever done about the state of Illinois, which is that their governor and their state legislature are absolutely rotten to the core. I stand by that. Today, the theme of the video is Illinois, you folks are awesome because the compliance rate is one where if I was advising Governor Pritzker, I would have probably told him, not even to publish the data. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is pulled directly off the Illinois State Police Department's website. Now, according to this data, there are 2,415,481 total FOID cards, which actually means there are roughly that many firearm owners in the state of Illinois. Now, granted, some people could have FOID cards and not possess their own firearms. And one could assume that a large, large majority of those who own firearms in the state of Illinois would also have magazines which would exceed 10 rounds in capacity, and many of them would probably own firearms in the AR or AK platform. So how are we doing with the registration? Well, again, according to this website, there has been a total of 3,202 disclosures, of which there were 2,060 firearm disclosures, 1,125 accessory disclosures, and 17 ammunition disclosures. Now, just assuming in arguendo, if all 2.4 million Illinois residents who have a FOID card happen to also possess an item which now needs to be registered with the Illinois state government, so they have a magazine which exceeds more than 10 rounds, or they have a semi-automatic rifle or any one of the firearms that were banned by the Protect Illinois Community Act, then the current compliance rate, albeit this is early, is 0.001%. But hey, look, on the bright side, Illinois, if only half of those individuals with FOID cards had an item that needs to be registered, well, then the good news is, is that your compliance rate has now gone up to 0.0026%. Now I get we're early in the registration period, so things may be trickling in, and yes, the volume may increase significantly, but if the state of Illinois stayed on the same pace of registration through the entire registration period, they will get approximately 38,000 424 firearms and or accessories registered by the deadline, which is December 31st of this year. Now, again, assuming in arguendo that that 2.4 million FOID card holders have at least one item which needs to be registered, then the state of Illinois will have achieved by the end of this year a 0.016% compliance. 
So the bottom line is, is that the folks of Illinois who should have never been subjected to this legislation to begin with, let us not forget that this was an innocuous piece of insurance legislation that was turned into an outright ban with an emergency clause in less than 72 hours without any public comment, without one ounce of public comment. And then let us also remember that when this was challenged in the Illinois court system, there were not one but two Supreme Court justices who received a million dollars in donations from Governor Pritzker who refused to recuse from this case and shockingly voted in favor of this law. Obviously, the numbers are likely to tick up, but if these numbers continue in anywhere of a similar trend than what we're seeing, then Illinois, you will be a state of mass non-compliance. Congratulations. Listen, we'll link up all the stats from the Illinois Police Department down there yourself so you can see it. If you got any other questions about this or anything else related to what's left of our Second Amendment rights, you guys should know how to get a hold of Washington Gun Law by now. But if you don't, that's okay. That information is down there in the description box. Also, in the meantime, let's all remember that part of being the lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about all the time here, is to know what the law is in every situation, how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay safe.